awesome game on, game over for you guys exactly today. Um, according to reports, the Carolina Panthers will meet with free agent Derek Carr this week at the NFL Combine. Oh, game on, game mm. over to the Panthers signing Carr. Mm. I mean, mm. that's the only thing that's out there available that's willing to come to Charlotte. Yeah, maybe. But I'm – Sam Donald and Derek Carr. I mean, I'm a Derek Carr guy, but he makes, he's a little better than Sam Donald. That's, uh, it's all right, but he's not going to make that much of a significant difference, I think, if they sign him. This is my opinion. Game mm-hmm. on. So I say game on. I'm, I'm kind of neutral on this one, okay? I say game on. Okay. I think it'll be a good look. Okay. Wait a minute. You don't think Derek Carr will make a difference? I think Derek Carr will make a difference. He's better than what they have. Mm. Right. I'll put it that way. Well, he, that's better than what you said about Lamar Jackson, I guess. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'll take that, I, too. I, I'm not even responding to that. <laughs> I'll take that. Well, I, mean, it, I mean, it'll make a difference. Yeah. It's got to make a difference. I'm not responding to that. They ain't going too far, but it'll make a difference. Though. Okay. Okay. It'll make a difference. Okay. Nah, I'm game over. I mean, yeah. you got Teddy Bridgewater. You have... Uh, Sam Darnold, you have Baker Mayfield. These are all quarterbacks who came into Carolina as sort of reclamation projects. And um, Derek Carr, although, you know, he is arguably better than all of those guys, Mm -hmm. um, he's still on a – like, he's still out here searching for a job. And I saw somebody on Twitter say, Mm -hmm. top quarterbacks don't have to go on job interviews like this. Like, I mean, he's meeting with five teams. Like, this is not how it goes. Somebody gives you the bag and you take it. Uh, and so, you know, I, I don't I don't think the Panthers are realistically wanting to sign him. I think they uh, understand the need of having a franchise quarterback sure, sure. Um, and potential and drafting your your franchise quarterback and, and 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 improving your team that way. So maybe it's just, you know, because he has already met with the Saints, maybe that's to drive the price up uh, for uh, the Saints or other potential teams. Uh, but I say game over to the Panthers signing Derek Carr. Do what you have to do. Get rid of some picks. Jump up in the draft and get the guy, your quarterback in this year's draft, if he's there. Mm. Mm. Okay, I'm with that too. Mm-hmm. All right, that. we'll see. Yep. All right, the Tar Heels are on a three-game win streak. I ask you guys, game on or game over, that if the season ended today – UNC should get an at-large NCAA tournament bid. Game on. <laughs> How many quad ones win again? <laughs> if they ended today? I think two, maybe. I think it's one. 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 One, yeah, it's one. So the answer is no. They have mm-hmm. no. They only have one quad one win, and it's not very impressive. So the answer is no. I would love to say game on, but it definitely is game over. It, I mean, that's that's. I mean, that it is what it is. You, you it, want, so the, 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 the best thing to do is is not in. No, I don't no, know what no. Reese but is this, about. this is what Reese talking about right here. If it's a close decision, and because the, because of the name that's on the front of their jersey, and the tradition of their school, and and was in the final four last year and preseason. Uh, number one this year. That's gonna that's gonna play a role in determining where they get in. If it's close, I'm telling you, they, they that's gonna. I, have... I agree with that, okay. but I still think if the season ended today, absolutely not. I mean, look at their last three wins. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they beat Virginia, but they beat. But damn it, the season's not ending the today. <laughs> the season the season's not ending the today. <laughs> they beat, but the question was, no, if, if it ended today, if it ended today, yeah, boy, that people kill me. I know some Jets fans out the second week in the NFL. Is the season end the day we'll make the playoffs? I mean, that, that's We're hypothetical. Not week in the NFL, the actual season ends on Saturday, so we are nearing the end. And, and Saturday, UNC has and Saturday, one more game, right? And that one but, game it gets is gets due. If they was playing one game against, uh, I don't know, Wake Forest or I don't know, Clemson, maybe you could say that. But that game on Saturday is, is going to be a big. Determining factor in terms the of where they made it. The question was yes. if the season ended today. <laughs> to say, and, today. And, yes. and, 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 and I'm po- just going back and I'm examining their last three wins and I'm saying they beat UVA, which just, was their first quad one win. Not but very impressive. The only other team 
teams they beat were Notre Dame at the bottom of the ACC and Florida State at the bottom of the ACC. They, if the season ended today, UNC would not be in the okay. NCAA tournament. Okay. Right. But I do agree with you, Reese, that if they beat Duke, UNC is in because mm-hmm. the it, the committee will find a way yeah. to put Carolina in that in that field because they sell tickets and they travel well. Yes. So right. if it ended today, it's a no go. If they beat Duke, I mean, I think they'll try to find a way to put them in. If they beat Duke and get one win at the ACC tournament, I think they're in easily. Okay. Been saying it for weeks, Fast Time. Been saying it for weeks. <laughs> what else you got for what us, Fast Time? Yeah, what th- thank you. Good question. What, what, what you have saying? you been saying? Yeah, I said, I said it four, four weeks ago that you was going to make the tournament, right? Because you were going, no matter how you ended up in the season, I said you get to the ACC tournament, the team will play better. I said, and they'll find a way to put you in as long as you at least win one or two games in the ACC tournament. I've been saying that for weeks. It doesn't really matter how you end the season. As long as you get to the ACC tournament, you get one or two wins, you look good, they'll find a way to put you in there. And also, I don't understand this Caleb Love slander. Caleb Love actually won UNC the biggest game that they probably will ever play in the history of Carolina, beating, you know, with that three-point shot over Duke. And fans act like he's – Who's the guy that they hate that that talked trash about him after uh after he left? Um, Jason Cable. No, well not Jason Cable. <laughs> the, the he was in there in the two thousand. Oh oh, uh, McCants, McCants, McCants. Yeah. What's up with the What's up with the Caleb Love slander? I mean, I because I heard y'all slandering him. No, no, no. I, 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 I didn't slander him. I said Caleb Love is Caleb Love. What gets me is that he he. he you will create all this stuff and get you the basket and forget how to shoot. Yeah, he's that player that runs your blood pressure yeah, when exactly he has right. the ball sometimes. I, li- I like him getting to the basket and drawing the defense and then kicking it out. I, th- I think he started out playing very well the other night, last night. I think if he continues down that path, he could, you know, he could, he could change the trajectory of the offensive oh, wow. set for Leader for on the court. He, he didn't have but two in the second half. That's okay. And how many? He, I, I guarantee he had more turnovers. Oh, he, he did. He went to the basket. In the and he just forgets what. He, what is he doing? He gets there, He's trying to draw a foul. Ball goes on the, the bat boy on top of the bat boy. Kid, what are you doing? Be under control. Now, One I, of those turnovers shouldn't be on him. He drove. He kicked the ball to R.J. Davis. R.J. Davis wasn't even aware. How are you not looking at where the ball is? As a hooper, you got to know where the ball is. That was a perfect pass underneath the basket. No look. R.J. would have had an open three. Ball went through R.J.'s hands. That turnover is going to be credited to Caleb, and it shouldn't have been. Okay. That's a good point. Okay. Yeah, that's true. I'm just happy you said something nice about the Tar Heels. Where else you got? Don't, ah. do that. Don't, do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. He tried. He you tried, you man. Yeah. He tried to do that. I am unbiased when I'm covering these teams. A- ask him, is he uh, biased? I'm very unbiased. We, he already know. He's I'm realistic now. I make me uh, hey, I'm, hey, he's, he's switched it. Hey, he ain't gonna say that. No, no, I'm realistic. I'm not, I, may, I, may, I may not be unbiased, but I'm realistic though. How about that? Okay. All right, Lamelo Ball. He fractured his right ankle last night against the Pistons. There's really no mm. word on how long he'll be sidelined with that. Uh, but he's had issues with his ankles this year. Uh, he had a grade two sprain on his left ankle. That made him unavailable for the first 13 games, and then he re-injured that shortly after. Um, Ball will be eligible for a contract extension this offseason. I ask you guys, game on and game over, that LaMelo Ball is worth a max extension. Uh, absolutely. I think it's best. I know this one's going to sound crazy. Mm. It's the best thing to happen to him, happen to the franchise, will happen to him mm. getting injured last night. I know that's, that, that may sound crazy. So, but so you won't get the extension? Mm-hmm. I, no, I, they're going to give him the extension. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, they're going to get an extension. Um, and uh, I think, and he'll sign it. If he, he was, if he's playing lights out and you know, just killing the all-star, mm-hmm. it may right. be difficult to do that. But given the fact that he's had a setback with the injuries or whatever, he may be more apt to sign this extension. That would be great for the, uh, for the Hornets. Mm. Mm. Y'all don't have opinions? Yeah. Yeah, I, I guess I'm the one got opinion. I was just thinking about him. Um, we, I mean, they need him, so I hope he'll sign it. No, he'll definitely sign it. He'll definitely sign it. He wants to be there. He wants to play there. I think it helps the. I think it helps the Hornets because I think it gives the Hornets an opportunity mm. to, as, as they look forward to try to attract more talent Bring and figure out what, else, and figure yeah. out what they what they want to do and who they can build around. Because without having him as a cornerstone, 
I, I don't know what this team would do. <laughs> yes. I, don't, I don't even know what direction. It would it, it, be like a rebuild almost. If he didn't sign, it would be like a rebuild. I mean, what, what do you have? Where do you go? So Yeah, right. I mean, game right on. now they're four games. Uh, they are. They have the fourth worst schedule in the in the NBA, and um, I think Houston has the worst schedule, and they're five games ahead of Houston. But the Hornets also just went on a five game win streak after a six game losing streak. So I don't know what this team wants to be, uh, but well, definitely it won't be this year. I can tell you that. <laughs> well, listen, and I got what Reese was saying. The injury happened. Now they can kind of sit ball yep. and see if they can be in play for that yep. number one pick. That's exactly right. I mean, Ooh. I mean, all this, a lot of things happen. You like, well, your people say, well, that's a sad thing. Maybe that's the best thing to happen to them. Yeah, yeah, play the rest of them and see what you get. They won't go into the championship. For the rest of the year. <laughs> That's true. Make sure those ankles get right. Yep. Let Puma get his shoes right because yep. apparently, I mean. You, <laughs> you gotta look at everything, Leave and then, yeah, and Pumatel, then Pumatel, Pumatel, for the rest of the year, they gotta be better material. They gotta get out of Indonesia <laughs> over there. Oh my bring, god, bring he pull a low, man. Pull. First of all, Puma <laughs> throw it out anyway. Don't get me started. Let's go. Puma was... gave him a hundred million. I had to look that up. I was like, Who <laughs> wow. signs with Puma? Hey, yeah, hey, look, I ain't give, give hey, look, you hey, hundred million, hundred million. You will too. <laughs> I know. I can have a broke anchor every five five weeks. I'm I fine. have them in every color. <laughs> I, listen, with the Walmart shoes that they have, I, if they gave me a hundred million, y'all see my shoes in Walmart, and, they, and I wear them proud. That's right. Oh boy, you gotta quit. Back but time. yeah, I mean, I think he's worth a max extension. He has a still has an incredible upside, and. um Obviously, the, the the Hornets need to figure out what they're going to do with that roster with Gordon Hayward and all yeah, that other stuff yeah, they have going yeah, on. Yeah. But um, a number one pick is, or at least being in play with the number one pick with how the, the NBA does their um, their uh, lottery, I mean. I Sad part about it, if, if the Hornets start tanking, would anybody know it? See, see, that's another day, Vesta. <laughs> <laughs> if they started taking, would anybody know? Oh, it I, may take me and, 12 games for me, and, for me to figure that and, out. And, and much as we <laughs> love the people that, that's running the Hornets and we know them, mm. I just really don't pay too much attention to them. And that's that's really sad because I, I, I want to. <laughs> that answers the question. <laughs> I, mean, I, I really want to, but right, they right. just don't. There's nothing that moves me like that. <laughs> that's funny. Love it. I, I said this before. That that means that they're not getting the word out about their team. Even teams that aren't winning, they have a good pitch. They have a good scheme to have people have hope for the future. I mean, I think Lamelo Ball is a potential star, and mm. and he's not getting the exposure so, that so, he should because so, he plays on the Hornets. They have to do a better job of selling that team to the fans. Speaking because, of the, speaking of selling the team, you think. Do you think they'll position this team to sell to somebody else? I know that's a crazy question, but I'm asking you. If they are in a position or if they would sell? Would sell. I mean, I've I've heard rumors that Michael Jordan doesn't want to be an owner. Right, and mm. I've I heard the same rumor. That's why I asked so, that question. Yeah. Well, this ain't how you position it. <laughs> yeah. Driving the value down. <laughs> <laughs> that's not yeah, how you do it. <laughs> that doesn't work when you're ready to sell. <laughs> that ain't how you do it. Look, ask Dan Snyder. That's not how you do it. I know. But we got well, Bezos over there. Bezos, he, he can buy the whole NFL if he wanted well, to. Well, he playing the game with Bezos. <laughs> He's like, you want this? You go pay for this. I'm going to make you pay. Vest, that quick question. I know you're going to go. Um, your thoughts on tonight's game? Duke versus... Uh, you know, I, I was going to do a game on, game over about that one, but I wasn't, I wasn't sure. I think it's going to be a good one. I mean, Taquarion Smith has been talking that talk about NC State being the best team in the state. And Duke has been on a get-back tour. Look, Duke lost that Wake. They beat Wake at home. They lost to Virginia Tech away. They beat Virginia Tech at home. And they have said in the locker room after games, NC State is up next. And so they think, they say that they're a different team. They've grown. They're finally healthy. Uh, I think it'll be a good game. But – I don't know. Duke 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 looks different than what they did and uh I like them to win this game at home. They're undefeated at Cam